Hi. In this video, I would like to show you a quick demo of uh, the animation tools uh, in the new Pixel Edit uh, beta release. And uh, it's available right now for $8 minimum, but you can pay what you want. And if you participate to Ludum Dare or uh, Game Jam events, uh, I would really encourage you to buy it and uh, try it out for yourself. So, um, here's how the animation process works. Uh, you can create multiple animations. You can set up uh, ah, well, a name for it, call it Stick Walk. Uh, base style, you can shift uh, the start frame in the end frame and change the overall frame length. Uh, we'll make it a four frame uh, animation. Now, when you begin drawing, uh, you'll notice that the cursor follows in the frame edit view. So, you got the option to draw within the uh, actual canvas or frame edit. Um, I'll begin in the uh, canvas for now. And it's going to be a very simple very, very simple animation. All right. And let's erase this block. All right. And um, so I'll copy this. It's going to be the template for frame two. And uh, I'll erase from the frame edit view but I have to be sure to select the right frame. Right now I'm still in frame one. So let's highlight frame two. See the gray border indicates that we're on the correct frame. Let's erase this and move on. You can also enable the onion skin view. So that way you can have a preview of what, uh, what pixels were there before on the previous frame or the next frame as well. But there's nothing on the second frame or third frame rather. So I'm just gonna leave them off for now. All right, that's our frame two. Let's copy that. Now we got a frame three. Move on. And you can just bounce around back into the canvas view if you prefer to draw in that instead. So, so that. And I'm just gonna lift up the head a bit and the shoulders so it doesn't look like the neck stretch too much. All right. And copy frame two as frame four. Let's play that. All right. <laughs> Not the best walk cycle, but. So, and we can change the frame duration. So if uh, we play that again, change it live. So the, a smaller value will make it uh, faster and longer will be slower longer times between frames. All right, so let's stop it. And let's uh, take a look at the export options. So we got uh, a sprite sheet. You can um, export the uh, one animation at a time or all the animations. Um, all animations can be exported as separate files, meaning that one row will consist, or one PNG will consist of uh, one whole <coughs> row of the animation. And um, if uh, you select uh, each animation on new row, it will be one PNG for all animations, but separated uh, in their own independent uh, rows. Um, An animated GIF, well, you can guess what this does. It uh, exports uh, separate files if you do all animations for um, each animations. And I think it, uh, I haven't tried it, but I think it would uh, keep in consideration the uh, uh, milliseconds per frames that you selected there. Or uh, one animation at a time, you set your export path and voila. Uh, for a sprite sheet, you got the PNG, JPEG, and GIF format. And um, unfortunately, one thing I would really like to see in the next version would be to export each tile separately so that you can import it back into Texture Packer. But, you know, it's still in beta. Um, we'll see what uh, happens in the future. And that is pretty much it uh, for the animation feature of Pixel Edit. 
Uh, below in the video description, uh, I've posted the link to uh, Daniel's uh, pixel edit uh, website so you can go ahead and buy a license. I think it'll be really worth it for you guys if you participate to uh, loot them there and game jams. All right, enjoy.